I'd love to build my own house. I don't think I could do it. It's, like, it's one of those weird dreams, isn't it? A lot of people have like build your own house in the middle of nowhere and like have your own little property and stuff away from the rest of the world. But I don't think I'd have the patience to do it. And then if like a little, if, if you're asleep or something in the middle of the night and then a plank of wood just goes on the floor, <laughs> I'd be just, absolutely oh fuming. My, yeah, then I'd be done. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd be done. And then. it's not like you can just get out and go and walk to the nearest hotel and go, I'm done with this <laughs> yeah. crap. That's your house. Fix it. I just put a tent <laughs> up and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of our friends that we have, especially in our Discord, a lot of people are cat lovers. And I'm I'm not a cat hater, but I'm I'm absolutely not a cat lover. Like I wouldn't go out of my way no. to go and buy a cat or anything like that. I mean I'd absolutely give an animal a home if it needed it, don't get me wrong. I would absolutely give an animal a home. But cats just seem too independent. They they yeah, don't need they us. Do. <laughs> they yeah. really don't. <laughs> Whereas dogs, they they're daft. And they need cuddles and they need stroking and they need feeding and you know all the rest of it, because they're, they're big idiots, most of them. But cats are just like, get away from me, human. I don't know how to, like... How do you pet a cat? Like, I just feel like a dog you can proper, like, cuddle up with, sit on the couch. You can also teach it, like, different Oh, no, you things. absolutely can do that with cats. It's just that whenever I've been... Cats hate me. So whenever I've been near yes, cats and yeah. I've tried to stroke a cat, or, like, you know, when you're just relaxing, you, you pet... Yeah, you Close pet a cat. Tough. Yeah, it does. It's, it just scratches yeah. the crap out of me until, like, I'm, it draws blood. Oh, Same a piebald here. level five. That's a diamond piebald. I just shot a uh, moose uh, from 204 meters away. Good stuff, dude. Yeah. This is a this is a level five piebald. This is a yeah, it's a diamond caribou piebald. Dude, this is what's been happening with me lately. I've been finding some really nice animals, and they just go outside the world border every time. So what's go on, I'm going to call it? What's going to happen here? The wolves are either going to eat my face or I get rid of the wolves or they run off and then I'm left just with the piebald level 5 caribou and it's going to go outside the world border. I guarantee it. Oh, there's still one over there. That's it. Oh, yep. Yeah, they're running towards it. They're scaring it towards the west now. No, leave me alone. Oh, dude, I can't explain to you how cool it is seeing the wolves just run through the wall. Oh, so cool. It never gets old to me now. Like, it really doesn't. Just seeing the wolves, like, in a pack run through together, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. If modding support ever comes out of the game, I'll, uh, I'll mod us a helicopter so we can stop. Oh, dude, the... that'd be so good. <laughs> the only thing I want you to do, if, if mod comes out for the game, and I will absolutely commission you to do this, make me a predator for this game. Make me a yeah, Yautja, Dan. that would be so cool. That would be cool. So there we go. It's decided. If mod support ever comes out for this game, you're going to make us a Predator mod. That would be awesome. Confirmed. <laughs> oh my god, Dan, watch out behind you. Dude! What do you mean? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh my god. Dude, you're too easy to get with that stuff. <laughs> That's because I'm actually on the edge of my seat the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah. She's in there somewhere over to the right, so keep your eyes out. Like, protect me. I've not got my rifle in my hand. I've got the uh, distress fawn. Oh my god. Let's see if we get a response back from her. Oh, there she is. Warning call. Right, so we're, we're a little bit out of the way of, of her wind now. So the trees that we see over here, the three trees. Yep. We're going to hold up in there. I'm going to start doing some calls and she's going to come in. Oh, I can actually see her. Are you ready? I have a bush in the way. Dude, sometimes the wild throws things up that you don't expect, you know, and you, you've got to improvise. I'm improvising. You improvising, Dan? I don't see it. I'll make another call. You might see it now. Keep an eye on your cover. Oh, there it is. So I'm taking her down, yes? Yeah, but you don't really want to take a head-on shot because you want to try and get that sweet double penetration. Oh, if it stood up a little longer. She'll do it again. She'll do it again. Just, just be patient. There you go. All right, now she might charge. She'll be ready. Reload. Reload quick. 
Oh, dude, she's coming. Dude? Oh, dude, she's coming. <laughs> dude? <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have shot again. You shouldn't have shot. That lowers your integrity, don't forget. Tango down. <laughs> it was a tango down. Well done. You <laughs> saved my life, but only just. I'm on like a millimeter of health. <laughs> Give me the stats. Of course you didn't. Look, you're just claiming Dude. it. You're just claiming it, and then you're moving on Dude. to the next one. Useless! <laughs> right. Tell me when you're in your position. I'm in position. Right. Oh, he's moved again, hasn't he? Yep. Right, he's probably going to move again. Let's, let's let him settle for a second, then. Oh, there we go. One of the cows has moved. So all the girls are drinking now by the, the water, so... Whenever you feel like you have a good broadside on that male in the back, go for it. But don't rush it. We've got we've got all the time in the world here, so don't rush it. Okay. You got one, two, three, four cows all having a drink. The male in the back is probably going to take a couple more bites of whatever the hell he's eating <laughs> and then <laughs> turn around. So there you go. He's chewing now. actually made me jump <laughs> <laughs> right i'm not sure where you, where did you aim for like uh i am right beneath like to the little bit to the right of the top shoulder part a little bit to the right of the top shoulder part i think you've got a flesh wound good hit that should be enough to drop him where did you aim that time uh, like in his shoulder, straight through the lung and all uh, his circuits. Okay. <laughs> Wait, circuits? Yeah. Is he a robot? Yeah. <laughs> robot moose? <laughs> yeah. Right, so... Let's go and get him because he's no doubt down by now. 25 to 50 and you smacked him again with a 338. Chances are he's, uh, he's pretty done. So, it was the stats down. What did you get? Um... Well, no quick kill, no integrity. Consecutive was 100%. So, um, on the right scores. hand side, though, what was the percentage of the hit? So, on the right hand side of that detail load? The first hit was a 68. Where was that? Hit. That was the flesh left scapula. Okay. And the second hit was 32% flesh left scapula. Okay, so you hit it in the shoulder, effectively the shoulder blade. You need to hit yeah. it further back than that so it penetrates through the meat and not the bone. Oh, okay, so in the lung. Yeah, you want it to go just behind that shoulder blade. So it goes through okay. both of those lungs. But, but right. still though, a scapula shot, that's good. Because you're, you're aiming in the right general area. You took a moose down. A true moose as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Sometimes it can be like this, where there's just nothing for a long, long time. And then the next thing you stumble across is probably going to be really high level or just complete crap. But, down here where we're walking, just to the left of east on the... Uh, the compass in the bottom right there's just a little area outside of the trees facing like the, the water and a lot of wolves are, uh, usually kind of gather around that area along with caribou okay we'll take a look around this big lake and see what we can see you hear anything nope nothing at all right it should be coming in any second and you might hear the growl here we go oh. We got, yep, male. Okay, so right now, Dan can't hear what I'm saying, but you guys can. Now, Dan is easily freaked out in instances like this, and the wolves are about to come in. So I'm going to make him a little bit nervous here, just, just for your entertainment and mine. So you hear me freaking out, you guys know why. You hear anything yet, Dan? No, I'm I'm trying to like listen for the um I don't really know how the footsteps sound because I've never really heard them walk. I've always heard them run. What I always hear first is like the, the chattering of the teeth and then that low that low groan that they do. Okay. Even if they don't attack, sometimes they will make that noise anyway and then just run off. Right, let's keep let's keep moving a little bit. Oh whoop. Close. Yep, there's, there's definitely some over there. Absolutely some over there towards the northwest. Okay. Where we want to go there? I mean, you lead the way, dude. I'm going to follow you. I'm just going to try and keep an eye out for them where you, wherever you lead, so... 
you take point. So again, everybody at home, you can't hear me right now. <laughs> I'm asking Dan to take lead, so... Point taken. There you go. So he takes charge. He can't hear me, by the way. I want him to oh, lead the way so... He, tracks. I want him to lead the way so he has the encounter with the wolves, because I don't think he's had it yet. Yep, there's a lot of tracks. They're everywhere. Yep. Now, what we can either do here is we can either head this way, which, again, you, you're taking the lead... But remember, over to the right, we've got the water and those real ro railroad tracks, so chances of finding something down there is good. Okay, let's go that way, then. I'll stay behind you, then. I'll keep an eye on your six, or on our six, just in case anything comes up. Dude, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, same. We've oh, there we go. The another call, dude. Another call north. up to your left. Right, I think we should make some calls. Yep. This is getting pretty serious now. Yeah. There we go. I think we've got him. He's, get, he's getting a little bit tense now. I'm hidden. There you go. He's getting into it too. Right, I'm going to start making some calls. So in that kind of line of sight you can see in between the trees, it's going to be coming from down there. So if you see him, let me know. Also, don't yep. forget, they do move in packs, especially in areas like this where it's hard to see. They can be on you so quick. Before you know it, they're right in your face. So oh, if you God. see anything, just yell out, and I'll try and help where I can. Yep. So now, typically what happens with Dan is he goes quite quiet. This is actually really scary. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It is, isn't it? It, it? it can get that way. This is the time here. I don't know what quite to quite call it, but this is where I think. There's like a, a certain amount of seconds before you either get a response or you don't. So in the next 5 or 10 to 15 seconds, if we don't get a response, I think we should move. I'm going to make one more okay. call. Now. There we go. You see that? How we oh. got a call? Yep. So they are still one in the call. area. <laughs> you guys catch that then. He's completely crouched. <laughs> I'm waiting for me to get snuck up on my <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the heart to tell him yet, though. Oh! Dan. Yeah? What? Incoming. Okay. Save me, Dan. I can't hit that. Got a second one coming oh. in. Level 7, very hard. Oh, wait, that's a red-brown. Dan, nail that one. Nail that one. I fucking messed up. Nope, you hit something. <gasps> Dan! Oh, dude! <laughs> Where is it? Just run back here. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you were literally the worst person. If I was out in the wild, I, sw I would never, 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 never trust you to defend me like from a wild animal. You're the worst! Caribou call from the east? There's another one incoming. I'm arming myself now just because I don't trust you to defend me. Oh, one's coming across your path from your right. Behind you, behind you, behind you. <laughs> Dude! What? Why do you freak out so hard? I don't, I'm ready for battle. You're absolutely not. I just sit behind you then you start freaking out. <laughs> Where's your, where's your next marker? Uh, I'm looking for it at the moment. Which, was it headed in this direction? Yeah. I think that is a red-brown dude. Oh, that looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Very cool fur variation. Now, do you know why I like the fur variations of different yeah. types? They're awesome, that aren't they? That actually looks awesome. Yeah, right. Claim your prize, dude. Good job. You taking some pictures? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, and you're alright. I'll watch you back while you do that. Give us the stats. The... It was a flesh. Okay. Uh, it's a bronze. Um, so go from top left. What have we got? Is it male or female? Then read it down. Read it in that male, order. Male, 66 kilogram. Okay. Uh, fur type is a red-brown. Nice. Um, was tracked it for 560 meters. Nice. It was a very hard 
uh, difficulty seven. Uh, and the what does trophy type mean skull? so basically what the trophy type of the animal is so in this case the wolf's trophy type would be skull yeah okay and the uh, trophy rating is 37.3 quick kill and integrity bonus is zero percent and 100 percent consecutive um and score is 529 and it's just a promise it's all right though dude it's, it's a cool yeah, very it's, very wait now wait yeah. wait 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 before you claim it make sure you taxidermy it so you yeah. see it in the bottom right where it says taxidermy? Make sure you do that so you can put that thing in your lodge if you want it in there. There we go. And then you can accept it. There you go, dude. Awesome. Nice, That's good pretty job. Cool. See, it's cool, isn't it? When like even though we haven't found a lot of animals today, when you come across those, it's always nice to find them. Right, now the bad news is while you were claiming that, there was a, at least three or four wolves behind you that literally was in within about a hundred meters behind you, so <laughs> be ready. They're here. One came from down the side of that hill. Okay. Probably gonna get into a fight here, so be ready. I am born ready. <laughs> you sure about that? Because a minute no. ago when I said there's wolves <laughs> behind you, Dan, and you did this, <laughs> you went <laughs> like this. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot with the uh, 30 out six on that red brown. Oh, okay. Another one. Hold still, hold still. Oh, he's hiding behind the tree there. Right, I don't want this guy to mess my chances up with this uh, red-brown here, so what I'll do is I'm going to take the shot, like, fairly quickly. Looking about 180 meters, call it just inside 200, so we'll go that. We'll go 150. And... It should be a solid hit. 50-25. You can drop that wolf on my right if you see it still. It's uh, running way too fast. Right down that's a cool sounding gun though nice isn't it very very yeah. nice sounding gun Got another group over there <sighs> 25 50 down Oh, you hit it. Right, so this one was male 57, common fur type, level 5, medium. Straight through the stomach, liver, and left lung, 769. Right, so, oh crap, I didn't see what my consec was. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? it wasn't a high level, this thing. This one. So this is the second red-brown, isn't it? Yeah. Of today. Look at us go. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Right. So male, red brown, level 5, 100, 100, 100, 762. I think I've just got that score as well. Flesh, stomach, and liver. How far away was that? 180, right on the button, right? So, except, actually, I'll taxidermy that. It's the second red brown. Except. And that one, I don't know if that one was yours behind you. See, this. This is what me and Taco have been crying out for forever, like some kind of way of, even if you claim this one now, Dan, say you wanted to claim this wolf and see if it was yours, a way to cancel the claim so you don't yeah. actually claim the wolf. It's badly needed in the game. They just claim it, dude. Also, like just anything you shoot, it would light up with the person that's yeah, actually killed and it. it keeps that color. Yeah, that was mine. It yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, this is yours. Oh, I see him. Not him. It absolutely is a male. Are we far enough away? Yeah, we're far enough away from the lakes for him not to hear us, so. Tango down. Nice. It's not it's not our uh, piebald though. Hundred percent. Oh, okay. It's a little bit heartbreaking to be honest, because I thought we had him right at the end as well. I mean we still can check the uh, the lake. Right. Oh, it was a diamond. That was a level five. Really? Oh, cool. <laughs> 1077. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three, two, five. Right. I'm just going to go for here. Okay. going to be a long ass shot, but you're worth. Yep. It's not dropping health, is it? It's really hurt. 
This is what's been happening when my game's been crashing. After I shoot an animal, it doesn't drop health and then my game just locks up. 75 to 100 still. Oh, it's not a diamond, so... Nice. Done. We get it? Yeah. I want to know what that original shot was. It was definitely over 300 meters. That was a gold. <laughs> Nice. It's a gold with zero quick kill and zero integrity. Wait, zero integrity? Why? Oh, because I shot twice. Dude, I do That's not awesome. care. Yep, that is a nice pie bald. And even that if it's... awesome, that third time. See, the thing is, though, right, is I'm, I don't care what the scoring was with that. As long as yeah. we won, even if it wasn't a pie ball, the simple fact that this thing was traveling around the entire map and we kept coming across each yeah, tracks, yeah. <laughs> it was it's got an incredible story behind it now, which is another thing that I want them to add. I wish, let me taxidermy it before it, I forget. Taxidermy complete, perfect. I really wish that in the lodge you had like a, a little bit of a detailed description of what the animal is, so it showed stuff like this. That way I'll know the story behind this caribou. You know, like the the adventures that we went on today. And I'd be able to tell people who looked at my lodge, each of the animals have a story and stuff like that. I really wish that was like a thing. where it was killed and which region of the map and how far it's been tracked. Exactly that, yeah. it's the, It tells its own story today. That would be cool. To this be thing's been around the, the entire map with us. Or we've been looking for, you know, animals and stuff. And what we call like how long, it, like lifetime from when you started the set, like the map, how long it's actually maintained to 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 live before. Yeah, you kill yeah, them. yeah. Like its lifespan, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. If they could do that, that would be very cool. All right, guys. So I think this is where we're going to end. Now it's no secret right now that Call of the Wild is going through a really weird period right now, where there's a lot of weird bugs showing up in the game. Now, if you haven't already heard or even seen what the devs have said, they mentioned in their previous live stream that there will be a patch dropping fairly soon. I believe they're calling it True Patch to try and iron out a lot of the problems and kind of take care of a lot of quality of life stuff too, which is needed in the game or has been needed in the game for quite some time. Uh, we will remove the consecutive harvest bonus for the score. So it will only affect how much more money and XP you're getting from your harvests. And then we fixed a couple of bugs like uh, camera snapping, backpack making noise. We increased tent limits. Uh, there's a new game loadout, um, send eliminator description, aiming things, bows have sway now, tons of things, and we'll be happy to post the whole list once we get closer. And you can check out these changes in the open beta on Steam this weekend, where you can also enjoy two racks on the road here. So hopefully we get that soon and it gets rid of a lot of the bugs that we've been experiencing. I've been having crash after crash. I've been falling through the world countless amounts of times. So yeah, hopefully when the true patch is dropped, it does iron out a lot of these problems. But for now, we are going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one. What is he doing? Everybody at home, this is what I have to deal with. This is this is what I have to deal with. Like this is a daily thing as well. This isn't just a rare occurrence. This is this is what happens.